We think there's something special about flying machines. They're just so difficult to build. They have to be lightweight, they have to be safe, and they get us to places that we couldn't otherwise get to. You have to be able to think big and not get intimidated by your ideas. Like maybe it is crazy to put someone on the moon, but hey, we did that. I'm working on sending something to Mars to pave the way for humans to go to Mars. I study multi-agent reinforcement learning, getting robots to work with humans in the real world. I'm researching entry, descent, and landing for planetary vehicles. A neural network-based visual crater detector. We'll be using these craters as landmarks as we build up a map internally on the spacecraft as it figures out where it is. My research focus has been on aviation and its environmental impacts. When your research helps inform public policy, it's a big motivator. When they're finishing their PhD, they know more about their problem than anybody else in the world. It's really great to be able to have so much control over what you're learning and where you take your research direction. What's occurring right now in aerospace is a renaissance. The amount of entrepreneurial energy and excitement is just palpable. Graduate students pretty much drive most of the research in the department. We get some results and then we say, all right, let's go fly it on some drones. If you're really into entrepreneurship, MIT has a lot of resources for starting your own company. If you want to work at NASA, all the recruiters come to MIT. The faculty here are extremely well connected to what's going on in the aerospace field, both in the companies and within the government. If you're even at all slightly concerned about, I have no idea what I want to study, I think I want to do propulsion, but I might care about robotics, or I want to do sustainability, but I care about business, guess what, all of those things we do in AeroAstro. You don't have to leave the department to do that. I'm interested in the big science questions, like where did we come from, where are we going, what else is out there? I'm very interested in building spacecraft that um, work on interplanetary missions. I want to learn as much as I can now about human spaceflight and Mars and space engineering so that I can help push humans to Mars. I work with people who come from all backgrounds, all disciplines. My lab is very diverse. There's a really great sense of community, and I think that the department leadership puts a lot of effort into supporting the student groups. We have a group called Aero Afro. That's just a group of the black graduate students within the department. They're not just brilliant engineers or aspiring astronauts or amazing scientists. You know, they also care so much about taking care of each other. Every Friday, we get a group together and go down to the pub, talk and de-stress. I mean, you just have to come here and find out how special of a place MIT really is. If you really want to be at the forefront and have impact on real missions, this is the right place to do it. We push the boundaries of the possible here. You know, where else can you say we look ahead by looking up? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>